Now I ask you, is this a pirate or is this a pirate? Lenny? Oh, it's a pirate, Mom. <laughs> Willie? Uh, definitely pirate. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> what are you wearing? Touch of your aftershave. <laughs> no, I meant those silly glasses. Silly glasses? Look who's talking. <laughs> this is my Halloween costume. What are you supposed to be? Jean Shallot. <laughs> Too obscure? You're not planning on going trick-or-treating, are you? Are you kidding? I can't wait. I'm going to come back with a bag full of candy apples, popcorn balls, and cats. <laughs> Al, no one's going to give you a cat. Well, that's right. You have to bob for cats. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I, I can't sleep. It's my job promotion. I, I think I blew it. What? Honey, how? Well, today Mr. Burke took me off that teen runaway project I was working on. I was working on that project for three months. You're kidding. No, and he, he needs me, he says, for an internal investigation. So I have to go through all the requisition files and see if I can locate his missing water cooler. <laughs> well, I hope you yelled at him. I sure did. But I think I can kiss that promotion goodbye. <laughs> You can kiss me goodnight. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, good, you're up. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Not until we get this Halloween thing straightened out. We already said no, Alf. You cannot go out trick-or-treating for candy. Forget that fear of cavities, Kate. I brush once a month, like clockwork. We're not talking about cavities, Alf. We're talking about somebody seeing you. Then you leave me no choice. Read it and weep. Free the Halloween one? It's a petition signed by America's most prominent citizens. We demand that you let Alf go trick-or-treating. Signed, Presidents Reagan, Carter, Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury. This is your handwriting. Hey, it's a joke, man. My way of saying, let the funny little alien have a crack at the outside world for one lousy night. No. All right, I'm taking this to the Supreme Court. All the way to Chief Justice Pontiac, I suppose. <laughs> Look, look, I'll make you a deal. You let me go out for Halloween, and I'll tell you how you could still get that promotion. How do you know about that? The amazing elf knows everything. Was the amazing elf listening at our door again? The amazing elf never reveals his secrets. <laughs> anyway, what we have to do here is get the boss man to like you again. Invite him to a party and butter him up. I'm not gonna give a party to butter up my boss. Who do you think I am? Dagwood Bumstead? <laughs> think very carefully before you answer that. Oh, Willie, a, a party might be fun. I can't think of the last time that we had a party. I mean, our social life's kind of gone to pot since 
Since you know who arrived. Who? You. You mean all those times you complained about you know who? It was me? So what do you say, honey? Let's have a party and have a few people over. Oh, okay, but not my boss. I'll handle Mr. Burke myself in my own way. Oh, good thinking. Have a party and exclude the boss. Better yet, walk in tomorrow morning and hit him with mud. <laughs> What do we have here? We are the Three Stooges. Three? Well, Mo had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh. Well, here, and uh, take one for Mo. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yuck, 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 More Stooges? Yeah. <laughs> OK, now where's Al? Oh, he's, uh, he's in the garage. Say, Kate, the house looks great. Of course, that's probably because Alf's in the garage. Trick or treat! Oh, Brian, just open the door. <laughs> oh, Blackbeard is home. And look, will you look at all that booty? Arr. I want to go out again. Brian, we went to 32 houses. Yeah, in eight minutes. Well, I had to get back to change for the party. Lizard will be here any minute. Lizard? You heard that, too? What, what kind of name is Lizard? I have a friend at school called Frog. Well, why do they call him that? Because he's a frog. <laughs> Makes sense. I gotta go in the garage. I gotta give off his share of the candy. 70%. 70% is a lot. He wanted 90. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Great haul, Brian! Thanks. I'll guard these. You get back in the house. The party's going to start soon. Oh, but I hate parties. Everyone pats me on the head and says I'm growing up too fast. Cut the small talk. Let's divide up the loot. OK, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for me, one for me. Not so fast, bucko. You are growing up too fast. <laughs> We'll do this right. One for me, one for you. Did you see Alf? Yeah, and I still have some candy left. He must be losing his touch. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lizard. Mom, Dad, this is Lizard. Hello, Lizard. Oh, no, uh, you can call me Eric. You see, he got his nickname in biology class because he removed a brain tumor from a lizard, and now it's as good as new. Yeah, well, not really. It can only uh, flick its tongue to the left. <laughs> so glad you're here. Howdy, partner. Hey, oh, hey Ed. Howdy. Bernice, hey. look at you oh. guys. You're wearing costumes. Yeah. Well, we call them duds. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, why don't we mosey on over and rustle up some brie? <laughs> Hello. Who are you? We're the Burks. Kate, it's my boss. This must be Brian. You're growing up too fast. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Did you invite him? Of course not. Well, why is he here then, and why are they wearing costumes? Maybe they're just trick-or-treating. Well, what am I supposed to do? Offer them a peanut butter cup and send them on their way? <laughs> Hello, Tanner. Hello. Oh, thank you for inviting us. Well, you're welcome, Your Majesties. Uh, won't you make yourself at home? Our castle is your castle. <laughs> How come you told me this was a costume party? Because that's what the invitation said. <laughs> Make yourself at home, won't you? Okay. Uh, somebody seems to have 
invited the Burks and also told all these people that they should be wearing costumes. Now, I don't know who that was or why he did it, but I'm going to go into the garage and strangle him. <laughs> Kate! Willie! <laughs> Gordon Shumway! Long time no see! I hope you don't mind, Willie. I parked behind your boss. Hey, how you folks? Hey, you look good in vinyl. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Hey, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Uh, say, what are you doing here? Greeting the guests. Hey, Tex. Looks like you're putting on a little weight there, huh? <laughs> uh, could I speak with you in the kitchen just for a moment? Hey, not now, Willie. Your pumpkin's on fire. Ah, his pumpkin's on fire. Come here. <laughs> well, who is this little guy? Oh, this is Gordon, everyone. Gordon's an old friend of our family. Bernice, uh, don't mention his height. He's very sensitive. Hey, cowgirl. Nice calves. <laughs> nice calves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mister, I want the truth, and I want it now. All right. Your hair is thinning. <laughs> you got hold of our guest list, didn't you? You called those people and told them to wear costumes just so you could come. You dragged me in here to tell me things I already know? <laughs> On top of that, you invited the Burks. Again, old news. <laughs> Just tell me why. Because I really want you to get that promotion. Now, now get out there and start kissing up. <laughs> I'm not kissing up to anyone, especially not Walter Burke. I knew you wouldn't. That's why I'm here to do it for you. Oh, Wally! Wally! No, wait. Wait, you can't go out there. What if they discover that you're an alien? They won't. They'll think I'm wearing a costume. See? <laughs> Where did you get that zipper? Well, you know your old jacket that you were going to throw out? Yeah. Better hang on to it. I ripped this out of your new raincoat. <laughs> All right, go on. Go out there. I don't care. Go on. Fine with me. Blow your cover. That's fine. Just do me one favor. OK, OK. I'll do my Elvis impression. <laughs> Please, keep away from my boss. No problem. He seems like a yutz anyway. <laughs> OK, everybody, let's tear this place apart. Mom says that we're out of onion dip and we need more meatballs. And how do you like Lizard? I like him. He's intelligent, he's polite, he's well-groomed. Does he have a van? No. I love him. <laughs> What's Alf doing? Oh, his Elvis impression. Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, ladies. I'd like to dedicate that last song to my hunk of burning love, Bernice. Oh, oh. Elvis, love me tender. Well, I will, Mama. Uh, but now, excuse me, I've got to work the room. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, so what did you think there, Liz? Whew, the king lives. Thanks. Hey, science question. If there were such a thing as an alien life form, what do you think he'd be like? Huh? Come on, what are you, deaf? I'm trying to get some insight. You're an egghead, aren't you? Yeah, I do well scholastically, if that's what you mean. Yeah, right. What about aliens? They'd probably have highly developed brains and be very advanced. Well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, good, more food. Sorry, Gordo. We weren't expecting this many guests. Oh, you're telling me. Your boss eats like he's going to the chair. <laughs> Incidentally, how's the, uh, kissing up going? I'm not kissing up to anyone. I haven't done anything wrong. Play hardball. I like it. <laughs> Oh, you mind if I take one of these? Hey, why hold back now? <laughs> uh, 
I can't believe it. Alf is actually going to put a lampshade on his head. That is probably the corniest party gag there is. But somehow he makes it work. He's the life of this party. Even Walter Burke is having a good time. Honey, you might get that promotion after all. Sounds like Alf might get the promotion. I don't want to work for Alf. We already do. Gordo, 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 Hey, thank you. You know, we couldn't do this back home. Of course, we didn't have any gravity. Hey, just kidding, Tanners. All right, who's next? Who's next? Uh, hey, how about Walter Burke? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not Walter. Not Walter. Not Walter. Not Walter. Come on, Walter, give it a try. Oh, no, I've got this. What about my bag? Oh, bag? go for it. It's Halloween. Oh, yeah, what are you, wuss? <laughs> Come on, Walter. Come on, Walter. Are you all right? Just get me to a hard, flat surface. Hey, don't oh. expect time marks on technique, Wally. <laughs> Lizard, isn't there anything you can do? Mm, I, I could remove his brain. <laughs> Gordo, be careful. I know what I'm doing. Ah. Feels good. It does? Yeah. Go figure. <laughs> when I use the phone, I, I want to call Walter's doctor. Is it a local call? Gordo. I'll show you where it is, Felicia. Leave 20 cents on the night table. Ah, uh, Gordo. How can I thank you? Easy. Bury the hatchet and give Willie that promotion. We both know he's the best man for the job. He's intelligent. Hard-working, honest, Alf. Bad with names, it's Gordo, remember? I think Mr. Burke's heard quite enough from you. You're right. It's your turn. Go ahead, Willie. Be obsequious. I have nothing to be obsequious about. I was taken away from an important project to look for some stupid water cooler. You still mad about that? You bet I am. You took away something I'd worked on for three months because you didn't happen to like tap water. Well, maybe I should define obsequious for you. It means to grovel. <laughs> I will not grovel. I never knew how strongly you felt. All right, you can have your project back. I can? Yes. Well, thanks. I guess that settles that. Hey, wait a minute. Loose end here. What about the promotion? Uh, the, the promotion's a whole separate issue. We can discuss that later. What better time? He's in pain. We can get anything we want. We'll discuss the promotion at another time. It's all right, Tanner. You've got your promotion. I never felt otherwise. Oh, good. <laughs> Would you give me some more ice? Yes, sir. You know, as long as you're here, Burke, there's a few other things Willie needs. <laughs> like what? Well, let's talk parking spaces. Willie well, has a parking space. Yeah, but it's not close enough. And I understand his office doesn't even have a window. Well, neither does mine. That's your problem. And Willie's not nuts about that guy that works next to him. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Simmons? Yeah, yeah, Simmons. That's the guy. He's not pulling his weight. Get rid of him. There's a parking space right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And let's talk overtime. Overtime? O-T. Yeah, overtime. Well, he's working too hard. I mean, he doesn't get home till 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, I hear. I mean, what are you guys doing down there? Give the guy a break. How's your back? <laughs>
Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Alf, your voice. You're supposed to be a child. Right, no problem. Hello, young man. Hello, old woman. <laughs> We're terribly sorry to bother you so late, but we, we couldn't get out any earlier. Oh, well, I'm afraid that I gave my last candy bar away over an hour ago. Oh, shucks. Now, I'll see if I can't find something else. Was that a cat? Oh, yes. I have lots of cats. <laughs> well, I'll take a yellow one. 